today I'm going to show you how you can convert any executable into an image and still have it run its original code. This video is for educational purposes only. Enjoy. The executable file I'm going to be using today is called webhook.exe and all it does is send a message to my webhook. Now first thing we're going to be changing is the icon because everyone knows what the default.exe icon looks like. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. For the first method you want to install resource hacker and once you have it downloaded you want to run it. Then drag your file into resource hacker. To change the icon click on this plus right here and select your icon file. Now I'm just going to be using this image logo icon but if you want to be more realistic I would use an icon of the actual image you want to have. So it looks more like a real image then you want to click add a resource then file save as i'm going to call it webhook2.exe and now we have our file and if we run it we get the webhook message what we're basically going to do for the second method is bind our executable with an image so you need to choose an image that you want to use i'm going to be using the sexiest picture ever taken but you can choose any image off google and you want to make sure you have winrar installed you know the one that nobody buys then select your executable and the image right click add to archive and you want to check the create sfx archive box which makes it an exe that unpacks your executable and your image to a hidden folder and runs both of them from there then go advanced sfx options now in setup you have to put in the execution order first put in your image and then your executable in modes you want to check unpacked temporary folder and select hide all in text and icon i strongly recommend you choose your icon and lastly in update you want to check overwrite all files and it'll create the file for you now if we run this one it opens up the image and still sends us the webhook message. So that's it for the icon, but now we need to change the file extension because that's probably the most obvious part. So the first and easiest way to spoof your file extension is to just change it from .exe to .scr. When I click enter, it's gonna give you this error asking you if you wanna change the file extension click yes and it should look the same except the file extension now if we run this it still opens up the image and sends us the message so it runs exactly just like an executable except it just ends with dot scr but it's a lot more convincing because if we look in the properties it literally says screensaver now method number two for spoofing the file extension is a little complicated so pay attention we're gonna right click rename first i'm just gonna change it from desktop to something short so it's easier to work with and now you want to think of the ideal file extension that you want it to have so let's say you wanted it to end with, I don't know, PNG or PDF, JPEG. I'm going to do PNG. So you want to go before the dot of SCR or EXE or whatever it is. And you want to type your file extension backwards. So the backwards of PNG is GNP. So I'm going to type GNP. And now basically we're going to insert a special character that flips these two. So that's why we wrote PNG backwards, for example, because we're going to flip it and it's going to look like PNG at the end. This is called the RLO character. And to put it in, we want to right click insert Unicode control character and go down to RLO. And now we just press enter. As you can see, it ends with the dot PNG. And if we run it, image opens up, sends us the webhook message. Works perfectly. Now, just because I'm nice, I'm going to give you guys a third method for file extension spoofing. But first I need to explain a concept. So I'm going to bring back the old file extension and rename it to image.png. Yes, it makes it an image file, right? If we go into properties, it says PNG file. Now, if we run it, it's going to say it appears we don't support this file format. It's going to give us an error. But if we open up command prompt, go to the same folder as the image and open it from command prompt. When we run it, it's going to run as if it's an executable. The image is going to open up and it's going to send us the webhook message. This works because no matter what you change the extension of your executable to, if you run it from command prompt, it's going to run it as if it's an exe. So now how can we take advantage of this? Because command prompt is a little too obvious. The answer for that is shortcuts. You want to create a new folder called whatever you want and move our image.png into it. Then you want to right click, create shortcut, and you want to make the original image.png hidden. So go into properties and check the hidden box. And I'll rename the shortcut to let's say, yeah, image.png. Now, if we run the shortcut just like that, it's still gonna give us the error because it's being opened with photos and not command prompt. So to make it open with command prompt, we wanna go into properties in the target box. We wanna type cmd.exe-c and leave our file path. And for the run option, you wanna choose minimized. Now, since we put in CMD, when we press apply, it's gonna change its icon. So we wanna go back here, change icon, and choose the icon we were using before. Okay, so now it looks exactly the same. And if we run it, it works. Because we're basically doing the exact same thing as running it from command prompt, except we're doing it through a shortcut. So the command prompt window isn't visible 
it's hidden. I have free videos on my Patreon with really cool stuff that I can't put on YouTube. So check that out if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy this one up here. And if you want to support me, you can get the pro tier, which is only $5 a month, but you get access to exclusive programs, videos, etc. Like, sub, join my Discord server, and I'll see you next time.